it's commonly agreed that successful software development is very much about teamwork. But in recent years, more and more software projects have been developed in physically separated locations, which makes teamwork less efficient. Visual modeling is a proven method to communicate software design ideas. We believe that having a way to work collaboratively on visual modeling can overcome the constraints of location. Visual Paradigm introduced the cloud-based collaboration platform, called Vpository. Vpository allows software development teams to store software design projects in the cloud. Team members download the projects and work on them collaboratively at any time, and from anywhere. Besides collaboration, Vpository also comes with the following features. Vpository keeps track of every little change your team made, and shows you the involvement of your design. Vpository also allows your team and even the end users to comment on the designs. Conversations are made on and stored along with the diagrams. You don't need another messenger to keep people in touch. Vpository also stores the additional files that are related to your design. Store whatever file relevant to the design and make your model references those files for easy accessing. Vpository is available for free. All you need to do is a simple subscription. In the next few minutes we'll show you how to subscribe to Vpository for your team. It begins from a simple subscription process. After that, you'll learn how to import the first project into Vpository, and then invite your teammates to work on the project. Finally we'll show you how your teammate can access your project. Let's have a look at what you are going to do to subscribe to Vpository. You'll first make a subscription in VPUML. Then, you'll provide the basic information for the subscription. You'll accept the confirmation email. And then finalize the subscription. Finally, you'll go back to VPUML and import project to Vpository. Let's begin. Open the Teamwork client in VPUML. Choose Vpository. Click here to subscribe to Vpository for your team. The web browser is fired up and you are brought to the subscription page. Fill in your name and your company email address. Input your company name to form a unique cloud entry point. Your team can store software designs in Vpository through accessing the entry point. Subscribe now. Vpository has sent you a confirmation email. Let's check the inbox. Confirm the subscription now. You are brought to another page. Fill in the repository and manager details to initialize your account. Set your account password and start Vpository. You have finished the subscription and your team can now enjoy collaborative modeling with Vpository. Go back to VPUML and log into Vpository. The entry point and email fields are automatically filled. Enter your password and login. Your Vpository is now empty. Let's import the current project to Vpository. The import project window is opened. Click Add Project Users. You can decide who can access and modify this project. Since this Vpository is just created, only you are listed here. Visual Paradigm's products are designed with easy to use in mind. You can add other users without any complicated procedure. All you need to do is just click the Invite New User button. Enter the names and email addresses of the users to add. Vpository will help you invite them through emails. In this demonstration, we're going to invite Peter. Click Import to send the project to Vpository. Emails will be sent to the invited teammates shortly. Project is imported and your teammates are invited. Let's see what Peter, our teammate has to do to start working on the project. 
Peter will receive an invitation email. He just need to click the link in the email to accept the invitation. He'll then provide the basic information to set up a Vpository account. After that, he can open the project from Vpository and start working. Let's walk through the steps in detail. This is Peter's environment and he has just received the invitation email. He clicked on the link here to accept the invitation. He is brought to the account activation page. He entered the password and clicked activate. When finished, Peter can log in his Vpository account from VPUML. By logging in, Peter can immediately see the projects that are available to him. He just need to double click on a project to open it. The whole process is as simple as opening a project file on local drive. Peter can start working on the project. He can share the change he made with other teammates by committing. This is how Vpository subscription works. Take action now. Get the 1GB free storage for your team.